Hey guys, welcome back to my tutorial, my OpenGL tutorial. <clears throat> In the last tutorial, we ended up finishing up the class for OpenGL, which will initialize everything. I apologize that it took forever and, and that I'm slow and I suck, but I sped up the video for you guys, so it won't be take, probably won't take forever. I haven't edited the video yet, but I will speed it, speed it up, so when the time comes, you know. So what's next is to create the graphics class. It's gonna be a really short class, not like the OpenGL one, but we can uh, use that class with other stuff as well. So might as well just start creating it. So our basically you want to include the header file. So create a new class. Make sure it's a header file, and we can call it graphics. And then you can include the CPP file, unless you, unless you created the add class, then you don't have to do this. So we're gonna create our in depth thing just to make sure we don't get errors or anything like that. And close it off. If you spell it correctly, it will turn blue. As it should. So we can we can include the OGL class. And then we create the class. Graphics. Make sure you say we put the semicolon. And you can create a constructor and a destructor. Then we're going to create our functions, which could be really simple functions. So this function will initialize OpenGL and, and the extensions for it. So we could call it bool not with two O's, not three. You can call it initialize OGL. And we can pass in an HWND here. Our next class, we have another initialized class, I mean class function, which will just initialize our graphics class. You'll find out in the future why we need two different initializers. You'll see why. This, this initializer will just initialize the graphics for this class. Uh, since it's gonna be um, how can you call it? Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind what I said. Uh, it's just gonna initialize our graphics class and all this stuff it's gonna need, and this will initialize OGL. So yeah, so just letting you know, just we can create two different. Oh, you know what? It's because I have something here that we haven't created yet. We will create this later. Uh, I'll just. Look at it right now. Well, you can leave it there if you want, but we're not gonna use it yet until I create the, the sprite batch class, which we haven't created yet. So either you can leave it there or you could destroy it. So I apologize for that. I should have freaking. I should have, you know. Look at this t bit. Uh, look, uh, should have. Uh, I can't even talk today. You know what, I'll just continue. So our next function that we can create will be our begin scene. So it'll be easier for us so we don't have to call like OGO. I mean call graphics and then get OGO and then begin scene. So this is gonna be a begin scene. We also gonna have an end scene, so so for blue and green and make sure the last one you put the alpha one the other function like i said earlier of course is going to be the end scene uh, 
Our next function will get the OpenGL class or object. Oh, you know, one thing I'm thinking about getting our OpenGL stuff. And the other one, I forgot to actually set the and get the HW classes, I mean, um, functions. I did not create it last, uh, in the last video. But I'm pretty sure it was self explanatory, anyways, if I didn't create it. But, anyways, here they are. It's simple. Just set it and then, I mean, set it and then return it for those functions. So, I'm just letting you guys know that I did it already in case you haven't so this will get uh, get open get open GL class or object or whatever you want to call it so it's gonna be OGL pointer get open GL and semicolon I don't know what the heck I was typing afterwards and our last function will be to release our memory release release make sure you spell it right release memory and then it's called board release simple as that like I said it's really short class there's another class that we can create here later on so now it comes to creating our OGL Simple as that, guys. Now we go to CPP file. We can uh, include OGL. We can call the constructor and destructor. Inside here, make sure OGL is null. And OGL and call the constructor. Make sure it's a constructor because. Oh, what am I thinking? It's not OGL's graphics. <laughs> ah. What am I thinking, of OGL? See, guys, you guys gotta help me out here. What am I doing? Alrighty. Anyways, we'll have our boolean that will initialize OGL. Initialize OGL, which will, which had the parameter to set the HWD. And we can make sure MOGL. If MG, if we haven't um, created a memory for this, it's not initialized yet. We can initialize it. Because we're gonna call this class, I mean this function like twice. So this kind of be like a little simple way to make sure you don't call new to the same one twice. You'll be like, what the heck am I talking about? You'll find that later. Once I create my other class. So if it's not initialized yet, then you initialize it. And then you can be OGL. And we can set the H W and D. And make sure OGL. We could call initialize extensions. And if it's not init if we it didn't pass, then you return false. And then return true. You could also could have just grab this and return this. Since this is a boolean as well, but I don't know. I don't know how that would look, you know. So our begin scene and end scene is gonna be simple. You know, just one call. And it's up to you guys want to do it this way, or you can just call get the OpenGL object and then call begin scene. It's up to you guys. This is my way of doing it. So you don't have to follow exactly what I do. <clears throat> just make sure you keep up and you don't get lost in what I'm doing. If if you're still looking at this tutorial, you know. Green and then you can call alpha. And I forgot to. I just something I forgot to do here. I forgot to do that. So an end scene for OpenGL.
and this will end the scene. Flow. What am I doing? Yeah, no, no, what am I doing? And then you can go M O G L and scene. Like I say, you don't have to create these two classes. I can see why you don't have to create it. But I don't know. I'm just weird that way. You don't have to follow it my way. So this function will begin to scene for OpenGL. And this will initialize OpenGL. GLN extensions. So there we go. That's it for this class. Well, actually, do you know what? There's another. There's another function that we will need. I called this and even name it correctly, which will end end the scene. There's another one last class that we can create. No, that's not what I wanted to do. And that'll be the clear clear screen. We're gonna need that. And also gonna be a red float blue. We're gonna clear it to a certain color, you know. Hey, give me a second. Let me see what the other begin scene is doing. Is it doing yeah, it's already doing this. You don't need that. Never mind. That's because I thought it was only calling this function. But we also have this in here. So never mind, we don't need that class. So I apologize. I may cut this. Or maybe I'll leave it on. I don't know. I'm just weirdo. I apologize for being I maybe making mistakes and everything. Um so yeah, that's it for our graphics class. Once we have our graphics class, our let's see what figure out what Clash we should create next. And then we're gonna create our little framework which will initialize all our, the windows and all that stuff that we can need. Because we haven't created that yet and we need to start we gotta start, you know, 